From overnight trains to daytime aeroplanes, but what about a first-class bus? Whoa, not too bad. Today we venture on a 10-hour journey on a bus that costs just $25. Let's see if it's worth it. Good morning, we are at the bus station and we are leaving Bangkok. We decided to take the day bus just so we can see the beautiful views as we take our trip north all the way back to Chiang Mai. And it was really easy to book our tickets. You can book online or you can just book over the phone, which is what we did. You get a reference code and we just paid for it at the 7-Eleven. It is about a nine hour trip which is going to be a long one back to Chiang Mai. You're probably thinking we're crazy. Like, why don't we take the aeroplane? We've taken the aeroplane, we've taken the train, and now we're going to try out this first class VIP bus. It's a nine hour trip, like Devin said, but I'm really excited for a new form of transportation. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like because online it looks really cool. So let's see if it lives up to that. We booked our tickets with a company called Sombat Tours and we use them because they have this VIP Supreme bus available. By the end of this video, we will be able to tell you if we recommend you going on the bus between Bangkok and Chiang Mai. Mm. She's going to be sleeping. Absolutely. Yeah. So far, our Bangkok adventures have been unbelievable. We've gone non stop going out, making videos, things like that. And now that you're on a bus for nine hours, you have no choice but to just chill out and pretty much do nothing. Chiang Mai to Bangkok 
that train was about 13 hours and this bus ride is about 9 hours and it's also cheaper than the train. This bus costs 823 baht whereas the train costs about 1,500 baht to round up. I'm not very good at looking at a screen or reading a book when I'm on a bus so I have to edit for like 10 minutes and then I start to feel sick so I stop, <laughs> chat to Shiv and then I start editing again. <laughs> I think this is the best way to go to Chiang Mai. We get the most incredible views all the way up to Northern Thailand. And luckily we took this trip during the day. You can also take an overnight bus, which is the same price. And if you want to go even cheaper than 820 baht, you can take a third class or a second class bus, which costs about 500 to 600 baht as well. It's about an hour or two into our journey and I thought it's about time to do a bathroom tour. It is a little bit bumpy and it might be really, really loud where I am right now. But the bathroom situation is more than what you would need or what you would expect on a bus. Working toilet, there is a basin and there's a urinal as well. So it is more than suitable for what you would just need just to go quickly to the bathroom while you're on the bus. I think it's about 20 past 2 and we have just stopped at our halfway point and since we have a first class ticket we can get a free lunch buffet so I think that's what we're doing right now and it's kind of nice to like have a break for now rest your legs to be honest I was completely passed out <laughs> on the bus so I need to wake up this is this will be good for me stretch the legs get some food in the body Oh, wow. oh, it looks so good. Which one do you want? Um, mm -hmm. We have just got our food and there are only a few options. Only Thai food for us, which is perfect. <laughs> I got pad kapao. My, I really, really love pad kapao, which is like stir-fried pork with some basil. Stir-fried chicken. Stir-fried chicken with some peppers, some onions. We've only got 30 minutes to eat, so we're gonna eat this real quick and then we gotta get back on the bus. It's kind of cool to buy a bus ticket in Thailand and you get a free buffet lunch with that. <laughs> it's really cool actually. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we've been traveling for four hours and we've got five hours to go and we can't really find out where we are on the map. So let's get back on the bus. <laughs>
turned into 10 hours, but we made it. <laughs> So it's 8.30, we left at 10.30 this morning, we have arrived, we are absolutely tired, so I think it's time to go to bed. <laughs> In our opinion, we actually recommend taking that instead of the train, just because it's a lot cheaper, the journey is shorter, and it's still really comfortable when you decline the seats. I slept much better than I did on the train, that's for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video, please give it a like if you enjoyed it, and in the next video we will be showing you a brand new place so make sure you hit the bell after you subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure.